Hey, what's up, soccer fans? This is Kadex, and welcome back to the Campion Show. Rakshir! We're going to overthrow uh, Malash. I don't know what I don't know what that entails, but we're doing it. So let's uh, yeah, let's do it. That's that's foreboding. In order to reach the bonus objectives, you may have to divide your forces. Hmm. The right of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara, but likewise, the Talgarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Okay, so it's like a strange uh, tug of war thing, almost. Okay. The Taldarim will send warriors to aid Malash shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. Okay. Malash is drawing power from the Taldarim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash. You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. Yeah, you need to calm your shit, bro. Not really appreciating your uh, your sassatune here. Oh, there's dudes over here. understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. Hmm. However, I think it best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch. Yeah, fuck that. It would be wise for us to build a second nexus here. Very well. Okay, then. I don't know why it said you're gonna have to split up your forces. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. I'm doing a thing. Additional pylons. I walk the shadow path. 
What? It's a floating rock beast! Has been slain. Our Taldarim attack force is inbound on our nexus point. Brothers, attack the firstborn directly. Oh, no, no. No, no, sir. You will not be doing any of that. Did I kill it already? God, I love the way that it like splits like that. It's so cool. Oh, goodness. What, oh, sorry? I am sensing hybrid. No. They come to aid Malash. Balsack. Amon's harbingers join our struggle. Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into hybrid. Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. What a jerk. Screw you, hybrid. Get fucked. Locking on to the beast's coordinates. Warping it aboard. Have some, some friendship. It's another base. Ah, look at that. So cool. Ah, it's so cool. Look at this getting repaired. <laughs> so neat. Ah, kitty cat. You can't scratch me like that. Bad kitty. Scratch me all up on my foot. Scaring the, the bejeebus at me. Jeebus, I say. Okay. Uh, we need stuff. We need. I What's sense that? more hybrid approaching. No. Be ready. Biscuits. We need to be fighting up here. So I got a beast to fight. So if you could like just do your stuff for a couple minutes, that'd be great. I 
of a thing to do. So again, just survive for a little bit. Once that's done, I'll be back to assist you. Okay. Oh my. Uh, that's a little dangerous. My preliminary scans indicate that the solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're... Oh, wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, game, for doing that to me. You bastard. We're in this, like, super deathmatch tug of war, and you're talking about the possibility that the solarite is poop. Thank you. You're just getting repaired from midair. It's so fucking awesome. Warriors, the Taldarim are moving against us from the upper pathway. Prepare what? our defenses. Taldarim, slaughter the firstborn, and your ascension will be assured. You lion sons of bitches. Your are under there we go. I love that. I love what the, the what are these things called? The immortals, whatever they are called. I love the the attack that they have. How it like shoots in some weird downward, upward direction. <gasps> let's make let's make Colossus, guys. We haven't done that yet. Let's work on Colossus yet. Oh, this is a base! Oh, yeah, get fucked. Get fucked! I haven't done that. Oh. <laughs> oh, no! Oops. I accidentally attacked one of my units. Don't tell anyone. Alright, uh... A hybrid dominator has appeared. It is on its way to Malash. Oh, well, sucks for him, I guess. Okay, fine. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. They're coming. Thank you yet? So, what can I make? Uh. Oh god, attack speed boosted fucking Colossus? Yes! Our confrontation draws to close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. This is about as far as I want to go, but whatever. Let's back up for a bit. Looks like we're about to win! Yeah! GG, son! Taldarim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash. 
promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. Well, that happened. I'm not sure how well that's going to suit us, but maybe it means the Taldarim's giant fucking death force won't assault us. Let's find out. between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us save it for now. We have struck another bargain. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. I don't know if I like that little exchange we just had, sir. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Mm, you, sir. You. A massive asshole. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us, or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. <laughs> Phoenix, you homicidal crazy bastard. I loves you. New subsystem. Purifier beam, yeah. Uh, Spear of a Doomfire is a controllable beam. Serves the deal 750 damage. 15. <clears throat> 15,000 versus armor. 1,500 versus armored. Uh, to each enemy unit and structure over 15 seconds. Uh, the beam automatically acquires targets that it is not manually. Uh, okay, yeah. Time stop. Uh, freezes enemy units uh, for. Okay. Uh, solar bombardment. Bombards the target area for 15 second firing. 200 random shots that deal 15 damage each. 30 versus armor. That's that's a thing that's insane. This is free though, so okay, cool, fine. I'll hold on to that for a bit. I can't really can't really be paying. That was so fun to watch, by the way. Just the, like the little bloop 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 bloops. Yes. That's what I'm calling them now, the little bloop bloop bloops. Artanis, Hierarch of the Dela. Yeah. Yes. Do you have do you have words? Rohana. I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, 
the Zelnaga slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. False Zelnaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. Interesting. So... So wait a minute, so that means the Zelnaga, like the actual Zelnaga, didn't create the Protoss and Zerg. It was actually Amon, and the, e uh, the, the Fallen Ones. Weird. Well, I, I guess they originally did create them, but he modified them and did weird shit to them. Okay, whatever. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldorim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us, changing us. Yes, we will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Fair enough. Change is a scary thing. Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. Ascendants. Vengeance for the betrayed. Okay. Uh, mind blast. Psionic orb unleashes a traveling orb that deals ten damage per second to all enemies along its path. That's weird. Sacrifice reduces target. Wait, reduces target friendly unit to one life. Shields are not affected. Grants the ascendant two energy for each life point reduced up to its maximum. Oh, okay. So that's not. That's nothing. Yeah, it's, I'm fine with Dark Archons, thank you. And then nobody else got anything? So everybody else has all of their stuff except for the Void Ray, and I guess this is going to be... Carriers? Maybe? I guess, we'll find out. Jesus Christ! He did it again. You're doing that on purpose. Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Revenscar it is, because that's the only place that we can go to. As ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Carax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. 
Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. ship boarded. I need our best warriors here. I know you were not trained for battle, Smith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. Damn, this is popping all fucking quick. Holy shit. YouTube stuff the video comments for games. Let's go into the next one.